Uh, now can we request Her Majesty Sultana Princess Mariam Leonara Amor Torres Ali for her discourse. There are things I cannot hide anymore, such as my age. I have to wear my glasses. Um, okay. Namaste. Greetings of peace to all of you. How is your Christmas and New Year? Good? And most of all, how is your spirituality? Is the meter going up or going down? Ah, okay, good. We're on the same level. All right. I love this world confluence of humanity, power, and spirituality. I love attending this event because I get to see my favorite people in the world. And that would be the Canorias, the Varmas, of course. Where are you, Dr. Varma? There. And of course, the whole gang of the WCHPS. You know, if there are unsung heroes of this event, that would be the team who has been faithfully serving all of us every year so we can have a beautiful event. So I'd like you to join me in honoring them by giving them a round of applause. And camera, cameraman, please expose these wonderful people on your camera. Mr. Rahul Malotra, Nishi Sengal, Utsav Sharma. We should see their, at least, you know, images on the wall. Rohit Handa, Sanja, Sanjay Ghosh, Som Mukherjee, Ishita Kapoor, Dibya Loke, Dananjay Sarkar, and many of you who have been helping us. Thank you so much. Now, you know, I was in the middle of my family Christmas holiday in Cambodia, enjoying durian and whatnot. But I had to stop that adventure with my family and fly here because there's more adventure here, adventure of my soul. And that's how much I love Dr. Kanoria. Actually, <laughs> that's how much I need to be here. My soul needs tune-up at least once a year. You know? And my heart quenched for new teachings. I need to hear those mind-blowing speeches like yesterday and today by the Maharaja, by the governor, by Dr. Kanoria, by that wonderful professor and our UN advisor. Thank you for that beautiful appetizing, luscious speeches that filled our hearts with new ideas and new meaning of what spirituality is all about. Twelve years of confluence, that is a huge milestone. You know, if I'm a student, I would be on the honor roll. I would be the summa cum laude for attending without failure for six years. No, I take it back. I would be magna cum laude because Master Mu would be the summa cum laude. She has been there from the very beginning without failure. So, with that said, Yes, she beat me by six years, so I will give her the first honor. Twelve years of confluence, that's about 
600 or more or less a thousand speakers, hundreds of thousands of hours of conferences, of energy and efforts put in all together. But if you think that's enough to transform humanity to be spiritual, you are wrong. It would take a lifetime of confluence. Probably Dr. Canoria will, out, will outlive this WCHPS so that he, it will continue to teach people to become spiritual, so we can achieve universal spirituality. Again. So why do we need to invest trillions of hours on conferences like this. Why? Because not all of us are practicing spirituality. We, as adults, have learned the spirituality maybe later part of our lives. So it becomes it becomes a choice, not a natural thing to do for us. So we have to be reminded all the time. So what is the solution? We have all agreed that spirituality is the key of everything. We have argued a million times that spirituality is the solution. It is the answer to all the issues, relationships, business, philanthropy, politics, name it. We all know that spirituality can unite us. Rich, poor, short, tall, white, black, Muslim, Christian, Buddhist, Hindi, Hindu. I can even rap about it. So, why? Why, if we know the answers, why is our world still suffering? The answer is right in front of us. If we want to transform the world into a spiritual world, we have to teach our children. What are we waiting for? Why are we not inducing spirituality in basic education? Why is it not part of our curriculum in our schools? Why is it not part of our meal in every home? Spirituality should be taught from childhood, not when we are adults already. Imagine if we teach all the children of the planet what will happen to our world in 10 or 15 years from now. It is a world without war, a world without violence, no inequality, no poverty. Probably we even have longer lifespan. If I bore a child during the six years of attending this event, my child would be a super kid. Because I will teach him, why are you smiling, Dr. Varma? You don't agree? <laughs> I would teach him everything that I learned from this confluence. He will become a spiritual child. Sadly, I don't have a child. I don't have a family. I'm not announcing that I'm single and I'm looking for a husband, okay? I'm not. <laughs> but yes, imagine. If I have a family, it would be based on spirituality. I would have a spiritual family. My children will grow up respecting themselves, respecting others. Thank you very much. I made it to the time.
Thank you so much, Sultana Princess. Wonderfully spoken, wonderfully precise, to the point.